Hello, I am Adam from Eurovision. In this video, we will find the uh, equivalent parts of some circuit components. I will start with uh, the resistors. If you have n resistors in series, you can reduce them into a one single resistor, and the resistance value of that equivalent resistor is the sum of all resistances that are in series here all right if these if these all are equal to each other our equivalent is then n times n times the resistance value of uh, them one because they are they are all equal so you can take uh, any resistance of them now uh, let's say that you have in n you have n resistors that are in parallel. All right, you want to reduce them into one single resistor. Then, then you can do it, and the equivalent resistance is the sum of all resistances, but uh, in this form: one over R1 plus one over R2 plus blah 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 plus one over Rn. All right. Let's say all of them are equal to each other, then, then R equivalent is Rn over N. This Rn doesn't matter, you can write R1 plus, sorry, R1 over N, or you can write R2 over N. All are equal to each other, right? So uh, all divisions uh, give the same value. Now, uh, let's say that you have uh, two independent voltage sources in series. You want to reduce them into one single. You, uh, you want to reduce them into one single voltage source. And the way you do is actually very simple. All right. You here I have chosen the same polarity. Notice these polarities. Voltage value of this one single voltage source is then VA plus VB. Very simple. If you want to inverse the polarity like this, this is minus, this is plus. All right, then the voltage value of this uh, independent voltage source is minus VA minus VB. Okay. Let's look at this case. You have two independent voltage sources, but they don't have they don't have same polarities. In this case, you are choosing a reference polarity, all right? And I'm choosing this polarity to be the reference minus on the left, plus on the right, and I'm reducing them into one single independent voltage source with this polarity then the voltage value of this source is VA minus VB. Alright, let's, let's choose this uh, polarity to be the reference, then, then reduced source is this one, and value of this is VB minus VA. Very simple. Now, let's say you have two independent voltage sources that are in parallel. And they don't have equal voltage values. They don't have equal voltage values. Then the equivalent uh, one single voltage source is this. There is no such a thing, alright? So that's an important point. Why? You may ask why. Let's apply KVL around this mesh. All right. Let's start from this point. We are entering to this uh, voltage source from its minus terminal, so we should write minus VB. We are entering to voltage source A from its po positive terminal. We should write plus VA, and we have reached to the start point. We should equate hole to zero by KVL and this equation is only valid is only valid if and only if VB is equal to VA 
and we have assumed that V A is not equal to V B, then we can't we can't have uh, this part actually. This is not valid uh, according to Kirchhoff's voltage law. All right. But if they are equal, if they are equal, you can reduce them into one single independent voltage source with value V A or V B. Doesn't matter because they are equal. V A or V B, whichever we want to write, because they are equal. If they are not equal, there is no such a transformation. And you can't use this uh, this port without trans uh, transforming also. This is not valid in in this type. Okay. Let's say you have two current sources that are in parallel and with the same uh, direction, right? Both of them is to the right. You want to reduce them into one single current source. The way you do is very simple. Alright, and you need to sum them up. Because this current IA comes and goes like this, this IB comes and go like this. You need to sum them up to find active current uh, flowing through this direction. If you want to uh, change the direction of the current, then you need to you need to have a volt sorry you need to have a current source like this, but with the value minus IA minus IB. In this case, you have again two parallel current sources, but with different directions. Again, uh, in this case, you need to choose a reference direction. Firstly, I'm choosing right as the reference. Then your equivalent current source, uh, current source is this one to the right, and the value of it is obviously I A minus I B. Let's say that you want to use this one as a reference. Then you can re you can use this equivalent current source with the value I B minus I A. Okay, the last the last case of this transformation is this: we have two current sources, but they are in series. And let's assume that they are not equal. They don't have same current values. I want to apply KCL at this node. Can you see it? I, I'm not sure. Um, let's apply KCL at this node. IB is leaving, right? So that's plus IB. IA is entering to this node, that's minus IB. Sorry. This minus IA and whole equal to zero by KCL, and this equation is only valid is only valid if and only if IB is equal to IA. IB is equal to IA. If they are not equal as we have just assumed, there is no such a use. You are violating the basic rule, that's KCL. Alright, let's say that they are equal, then the equivalent current source is very simple. Both of them to the right, and value of this current source is IA or IB, whatever you want to write down, because we have assumed for this transformation IA is equal to IB. Okay, so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.